Hello YouTubers, Tommy here from Overland Transportation System with the next update on building my shelf layout and HO scale. So let's turn the camera around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so after doing some landscaping and painting some background scenery up here at the ceiling for the O scale layout, uh, and I just started doing some operation videos, I had a question from uh, fellow model railroader Jerry Stone and he says have you figured out what you're definitely going to do with your buildings and industries down here on the HO layout to start doing some landscaping. I thought about that and I am pretty happy with my industries that I've got going so he inspired me to uh, actually jump on some painted landscape this morning. So basically I'm doing the Chris Lyons uh, blob 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 method and so I just start out with uh, a fan brush and a knife and just dab in some black and yellow making a green and just uh, a hint of some tree trunks it doesn't look like anything got to remember this is impressionistic uh, painting and so that there once that dries then you start mixing your black and yellows back and forth and blah 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 you make your trees and so uh just this little bit of landscape i done this morning and uh it got me started and what i really kind of i like about this if you look at at uh let's see let me get a little pointer here here okay if you look at this tree here and this tree and the edge of this one and this one what I tried to do was give the sense of some wind blowing in this direction rather than trees just being the landscape and it kind of pulls it off nice and so uh, this being this layout here being a seaboard airline uh, this kind of looks like Florida to me so uh, kind of looks like that Spanish moss that hangs in the trees and blows gracefully in the wind so uh, we got that and just using a fan brush and some dark dark green uh, just made in some impressionistic uh, pine trees start with an X at the top and just use the edge of the brush and work your way back and forth down and uh, there you go so with that I'm just gonna shut this off I just wanted to share uh, this latest update on doing some landscape on the HO layout and when we pick it back up I will carry out this area and fill it in. So we'll catch you later for now. Okay, so on this last little bit of uh, wall that I have to do, I was thinking that uh, I would just show the technique that uh, Chris Lyons shows in his videos. It's actually a four part series that he does showing how he paints a number of modelers layouts over the years where he does trees, mountains, uh, he does fields and uh, close-up trees. It's a four-part series and it's really, really good. And uh, I don't want to take any credit uh, myself on this technique. It's, it's all what he teaches. Uh, he has gone to uh, regional train shows and done seminars. And uh, this is just his uh, impressionistic uh, method of the blob technique. And uh, as you can see right here, uh, all we really have is just uh, medium yellow and a little spot of Mars black. And uh, you use uh, a pretty, pretty stiff uh, brush. I use a couple different ones for this. And uh, so basically, all you do is grab some yellow and just a hint of black. See that? Just a hint. Mix it in and you get a green. And so we're just going to start right here and you blob. Okay. Got the whole backboard shaking here. All right. So you just blob it on down and get back in it changes up the color a little tiny bit and you blob in here 
when you just try to create the shape of a tree, a hillside, landscape, and you work it in until you get something that you, you just kind of like the shape and color of, right? And you get back in here, grab a little more extra yellow. And we'll start way up in here. We'll have kind of a large kind of a tree coming down. Keep a uniformity of shape as it comes on down. And you're going to cover it over with other color to give it some depth to push it back into the background. Maybe we've got a little different color here coming in. So this thing, this color here pushes that one back. And we just make it just a tad even darker even. Now that's a little too dark, so we'll come in here and uh, we'll get some immediate foreground color. We'll bring it down to blend these colors in. Okay. And so, you know, at first it doesn't really look like a whole lot. And we'll come back in, grab a little extra yellow. Makes a little different green. And we'll make a cluster here. Looks like a tree. Bring it on down to the bottom. Okay. And you step back, you see what color, you know, you think you want to go, light or dark. And you just get back into these colors. And uh, blah, blah, blah. All right, now, to me, this color and this color look too much the same. So I want to add just a little more dark in there. Just to change this up a little bit. Now, the other thing that you want to be careful of when you do this blob method is if your brush gets too wet or if you go over top of what you're working on too much, that instead of getting individual blob colors, it tends to blend a little too much, and that's not what you want. So you might have to either dry your brush out, or you might have to leave that area temporarily and come back to it uh, so it dries a little bit. Uh, now what I'm seeing right here, I kind of like that color, but I want a little more distinction. So I'm going to grab just a little tiny bit of dark and I'm just going to pop it in there a little, here and there. Okay. Just blend it in, blend it in. Okay. And you just keep working it back and forth. Yeah, big old tree here. Big old tree coming down. Let's lighten it up a whole bunch right here. Yeah. Get this nice and light down in here. And you still see some blue showing through, which is nice. It's a little airy, the tree's airy. It's not solid bushes. All right. Get in here with a little bit of dark. Come over top. Come on down. Okay, now you see like this little sweep up here? Now that doesn't look natural at all. So we're going to get in here with some color. Okay. And we're going to come over top of that. They say you just got rid of that mistake. All right. Now, I'm looking at this whole thing here, and I guess I want to come up a little bit here. So, I'm going to take the color I got, and I'm just going to blob in here. Okay. Okay, now, let's mix up a little color, a little bit of darker, okay, let's come in here, 
Okay, we gotta take our little tunnel portal right out of the way. Okay. Blob some color in. Okay. Now I'm looking at this here now, and I'm looking. This is pretty light. This here is a nice medium green. Got a little bit of definition there. I'd like that front one just a little darker. So I take my color and I just pull in a little more black. And just darken that up a little. I don't like it, pull in some more black. There, see, now that's just giving that just a little more definition. And anybody can do this technique as I'm showing you here. There's nothing special about it. It's just, you know, you just look at what you got. And uh, now this is bothering me a little bit. It's just real light, light yellow, light green. There's not a lot of definition. Uh, so I'm going to take, I'm going to mix in some, some fresh yellow, a dab of black. And look at that. That's a darker color. Might even be too dark. That's pretty dark. Let's get some more yellow. Okay, let's see what we got. Just blob it in. Okay, bring this right on down here a little bit. Okay. This here pushes that stuff into the background a little. Let's bring this over a little more. That's looking pretty good. Okay, there's not a whole lot more to do. So now what I can do, and I've done this, is uh, I get just a... Uh, a little bit of raw umber which is a brown and I'll just put a little little bit there okay and here is some chrome oxide green so we'll actually get some real green in there just to give it some extra highlight so now let's get a little bit of brown in and let's come back in here and just dab in a little bit of brown here and there. You're not looking for a whole lot, but you're looking to enhance the color that you have. There, see? Just a little bit of brown. Just to darken it. It changes that color, that green. Cause it's not really black and yellow it's, it is brown okay now we'll take and get just a, a smidge of that green and we'll come up in this bush we'll just dab a little bit of this green in here here and there just to change up the color a little bit. Okay. It does make a difference, just that little, little bit. Over in here, we got this one. Okay, we'll put a little extra green in here. Okay. And you just look at what you got. You stand back. Sometimes you even squint. Squint a little bit. 
and you see what your eye picks up. Okay, so we're going to leave that go for a minute. Now, okay, I'm back. What I, what I want to do now, I want to take this fan brush. This fan brush is actually, actually a little softer than what I would really like it to be. I'd like this to be a little stiffer, but this fan brush is what's going to help you make your pine trees. So you want a dark color. So we're going to take a little bit of black, a little bit of brown. We get some paint on that brush. And <clears throat> let's put one right here. So you start with like an X at the top, okay? Then taking the edges, you just kind of work it back and forth coming on down. Okay. Now, just because of the number of things, odd numbers work better than one single tree. <clears throat> okay, so right next to it, we'll put another one. And we'll just come on down. And again, this is just impressionistic. You're just doing a hint of what you're trying to achieve and your brain fills in the rest. It sees, it sees what you got and it fills in the rest. Now you got two clusters there. You want an odd number. So a little distance away over here, we'll get some more color on the brush and we'll make another one. We'll make a little X. Start to come on down. You don't want to go too wide and make like a Christmas tree. But you're just making forest pines. That's all you're doing. Okay. So there you go. Now you can also take this brush and you get into some of these colors here like you were before. And you can just dab in some shrubbery. A little bit of yellow, a little bit of green there. Just make a little bit of shrubbery here and there. Change up the brush, you change up the appearance of the of that leaf landscaped. Just come in here. Okay, look at that. A whole different kind of a tree look. There's no right or wrong way to do it. You know? You just change into different kinds of trees that are. Just come on down. There. there you go as you can see you got this tree and that tree they're both about the same color about the same size so uh, let's pop a third one in there and we're just using a little bit of that green a little bit of that yellow and uh, we'll put one here in this empty spot Okay, you got that, bring it on down. Get into some dark area there. Get back into this brush with a little bit of that darker area and just kind of blend these back in. Push them back. And with some foreground foliage. Oh. Just 
still kind of random. Okay, so uh, I got a little more paint left on here. Let's see if I want to really get into anything else. Um, let me take this small brush here. This is stiff. And uh, let's get some dark area here. Dark paint. And just uh, make some simulated like tree trunk in here. Doesn't look like much, right? All you're trying to do is make a base for your tree. Come over top of that. Again, like I say, your brain fills in the in the blanks. You put what you think you need there. Too much paint left on here. I hate the waste paint. Uh, this tree here, just mix in a little bit of extra light yellow. Let's see what we can do. Extra look yellow. Dab it in, get some of that green. Just impressionistic. No right or wrong. And so that's really about it. And so with that, uh, I think I might call it a wrap. Uh, something tower up a little bit there. Bring that down, down here at the very bottom, put some color in. You see some areas that have some blue showing through and, you, and it doesn't look right? Just come in with a darker color. Make something. Push it back. There you go. Okay, down here, I got some, a lot of blue showing through at the bottom. So we'll just make some shrubs down here. Work them across. There, there you go. Got a light area here, lob it in. Okay, so with that, I'm going to wrap this up and, uh, I'll call this video done, and uh, we will catch you later. Bye-bye. Let me uh, I'll move the camera so we can look at some of the landscape up close that we did, some of our trees. Again, it's just all impressionistic. It's just in the background, because really, the train is the actor's. This is just the back scene. You got this and you got some buildings in front of it. And then you use some uh, actual uh, real 3D scenery from like Woodland Scenics or something like that. That pushes this back even further. And so there we go. All right, so with that, I'm gonna wrap it up and we will catch you later. Bye-bye.